What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another video. So I've got a bit of a different video for you guys today, mainly just because uh, this thing kind of triggered me a little bit and I wanted to make a video on it. So um, I just recently bought a HD60, an Elgato HD60S capture card. And the HD60S capture card is the one that has the instant kind of playback, so there's no delay. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I got it, and obviously I want to record in 60 FPS for the for the little gaming channel I started up as well. So anyway, I got this capture card, and on the box it says that it requires Windows 10. You must have Windows 10. I'm a Windows 7 user. I love Windows 7. I do not want to upgrade to Windows 10. I know I will have to at some point, but I don't want to have to upgrade to Windows 10 just for some capture card software. And what triggered me the most is I found a really simple way to get the latest version of the Elgato software to run perfectly fine on Windows 7. So it just kind of pisses me off that they're saying that you it requires Windows 10 when it does not require Windows 10 whatsoever. The software, the software and the capture card will run fine on Windows 7. They just try and make you force you, you force you to use Windows 10. So here's basically what you have to do to get it working on Windows 7. So I'm on Windows 7 right now as you can see. Okay, so First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go on to Device Manager. So System Tools, Device Manager. And you can see that I've got my Game Capture HDS connected. I've got it hooked up to my PlayStation 4 right now. And it's not being detected. There's no drivers for it right now uh, that I have installed. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the latest version, which as you can see here says it requires Windows 10 64-bit or later. That is a lie. Uh, so anyway, go ahead and download version 3.5, which is the latest version that's uh, supposedly not supposed to work on Windows 7. And I've got it downloaded here, as you can see, set up version 3.50. And if I try and go ahead and just install this regularly, or normally, you'll see that it says this application is only supported on Windows 8 or higher. So it would look like it would probably install on Windows 8 then, but... It requires Windows 8 or higher, and it just will not allow me to install the software. So in order to install it and get it working, what you want to do is download and install 7-Zip. I'll link it in the description. It's absolutely free. So just go ahead and install 7-Zip. And once you have 7-Zip installed, create a new folder on your desktop. I'm just going to call this uh, Elgato. And then what you want to do is just right-click on the installer and you'll see a 7-zip option if you have 7-zip installed and then all you have to do is just extract files and then it'll ask you where you want to extract it to so I want to extract it to the Elgato folder that I just created the Elgato folder you can click the browse button to browse for a directory to save it in and then I can just click OK and it's going to extract all of those uh, files into this folder and now that that's done, if I go in here, as you can see, this is all the extracted, all the extracted info. Now to narrow it down to what we're looking for, all we have to do is just perform a search for .exe, and then you'll find all the .exe files that are are in amongst all of this. And this is the actual capture card software. And you'll see if I just double click it without, you know, really doing anything else. It takes a little while to open. The Elgato software generally is a bit slow at starting up. But there we go. So the software opens and it is the correct version. If I click here and I go check for updates, you can see it says you're up to date. Game Capture HD 3.50. Um, if I go about Elgato, you can see this is the newest version, the 3.50 version, which supposedly is not supposed to be able to run on Windows 7, but as you can see, it clearly does. Uh, and then it's not, as you can see there, it's not detecting the capture device. And that's because we need to install the drivers, which are also right here. So drvinstaller.exe, that is the drivers for the Elgato. So I can just run this and you'll see in device manager. So it's showing up as it's not detected right now. So you just want to say always trust software from Elgato and install. And this is, box is going to pop up about four times. So just keep accepting and installing and then we can see installing device driver game capture hd60 device driver software installed successfully okay and as you can see now it has installed you can see that it's got game capture hd60s if i go into properties 
says device is working properly. Driver should be 1.1.0.167. Uh, it shouldn't be any lower than that. Certainly, it could be. A, it could. You could be on a higher uh, driver um, from when you're watching the video, but it, it won't be any less than that version. So once you've got that installed, all you have to do is just launch the um, capture card software again, and you'll see that this time it should detect the capture card and everything should work just fine. Okay, so here we go. It says one moment please and there it is. It's straight up. Right right there, 1080p 60, uh, so 60 FPS and we can scroll up and down in the menu and that is all happening real time. There's no delay. So campaign, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's pretty much instant. Uh, so yeah, everything's working absolutely fine. I can turn commentary on. You can see the microphone here is working as well. So absolutely nothing wrong with it. Works absolutely fine on Windows 7. Now, to have this as like a proper installed program, all you really need to do is hop into, say, C program files, and then just drag this Elgato folder into your program files. So we'll copy it in here. And then I can just hop in here, find the, the .exe, and then just uh, create a desktop shortcut of this. So yeah, and then I can just right click, rename that to uh, Game Capture, and then that's it. I can just launch this from now on, don't need this anymore, or this. And that's it, we have the software installed on Windows 7. If I just hop to properties, just to show that we are definitely on Windows 7, Windows 7 Ultimate, and the capture card is running absolutely fine. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest because that was kind of pissing me off, the fact that it wasn't allowing me to install the software on Windows 7. Especially, I could understand if, if the restriction for Windows 10 only was because there was some kind of driver that they're using that that requires Windows 10 or, you know, for some feature, some important feature in their software will only work on Windows 10 or something like that, then it would have made more sense. But the fact that it, ru it runs absolutely fine on Windows 7 and there's no reason why it can't run on Windows 7. So why are, why does their installer not allow Windows 7 users to install the software? It just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and I hope it helped you out if you're suffering from the sim from this similar issue. What in you've got a brand new capture card and it, it won't let you install it on Windows 7. You don't need to upgrade to Windows 10 at all. It runs absolutely fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.